Hello everybody, for today's video, I'll be teaching you how to solve this problem. Determine the largest weight, W, that can be supported by two wires shown in the figure below. The stress in either wire is not to exceed 30 KSI. The cross-sectional areas of wire AB and AC are 0.4 inches squared and 0.5 inches squared, respectively. So, first thing to do is to write all the given. And we also have our given here, which is 30 degree and also 50 degree. So we know that this, this line here, AB and AC are wires. So they are tensional, tensional force. So we have force going here and also here. Okay. Since this is the weight, so expected that the force is going down. Okay. From these forces, we can form um, a polygon force. So a polygon force looks like this. So let's start with this one, AB. Start with this. So this is AB. Okay. And then AC right here. And we have a downward force, which is the weight. Okay. Let's label it. So this is the AB, AC, and this is the weight. So since we are, this is what we call a polygon force. So all the forces here represents a magnitude and direction. Here, we have a 30 degree angle. So let's put 30 degree right here. Okay, this is 30 degree. So this is line AC. So we have 30, I mean 50 degree here. So since this is 30 degree, expected that the angle here will also be 30 degree. So this is 30. And the same goes with 50. The angle right here is 50 degree. And now we have 80 degree here. And since this is 30, and we have a right angle right here, we know that the right angle is equal to 90. So the angle here will be equal to 90 minus 30, which is equal to 60 degree. Same goes to this. This is a right angle. So the angle here is 40 degree. Since 40 plus 50 is equal to 90 and 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. So now we have all the inside angles or the interior angles. So we have 40, 80, and 60. The next thing to do is to determine the, the force of TAC in terms of W. So in order to do that, we need to use the equation. I mean, we need to use the sign of, I'm sorry, law of signs. Law of signs is equal to, in this equation, sine alpha is equal to beta is equal to the side B. Now we have this formula. We then compute the force TAC in terms of W. So we got sine A, sine. So the opposite of TAC, the opposite angle of TAC, this one here, is 60. So you have 60 
all over our E, which represent DAC. Is equal to sine, the opposite angle of W is 80. 80 over W. Solving this, we got DAC is equal to 0 0.879. W. Now, since we already got our force or the value of B, because our equation is like this, we already got this is B, this represents B, then we already have our stress and our area. Now, we're going to substitute the values. So you got it's equal to B. Now, our stress is equal to 30 KSI times our area in AC, which is 0 0.5, is equal to our force here in terms of W. So now we can solve our W. So now let's solve for the value of W in terms of DAB. So we got, so we're going to, we're going to follow this formula again, but this time it will be DAB, okay? So sine, the opposite angle of DAB is 40. So we got 40 degree over DAB is equal to sine 80. And solving this, we got W. I mean, sorry, the AB is equal to 0 0.6527 W. Then let's solve for W using this formula. We got 30 KSI times its cross-sectional area is 0 0.4. Okay, is equal to RP. So this is RP, 0.6527W. Now we can get the value of W, which is equal to 18.4 kips. Okay, so our final answer will be this one. This, this is our final answer because if we choose this, a larger weight will definitely break the wire AC, okay? Because it can only support 17.1 gips. Larger than that will, will eventually break the wire of the AC, okay? So for a safe loading, we're going to choose this. So this will be our final answer.